In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you the sink and stove in my van. It's a modular sink and stove. That means that it can come out the van, move around within the van, or just sit stationary somewhere in the van where I put it. So I wanna show you that. I wanna show you how it's built. You know, what I built it out of. Um, I wanna show you the makes and models of the sink and stove. I wanna show you just generally how I use it every day. Um, you know, I can wash my hands and do my dishes and all that stuff that you do in a sink. And uh, yeah, let's go take a look at that. So looking right at it, it is a USB charged faucet. It lasts, um, well, depends on the use, but it can last from two weeks to a month. And the stove itself is a jet boil, two burner stove. I don't know much about it other than that it's kick ass. It really works good. It folds open like this. And that also means that you can cook kind of like this, one sided. You can hang this side off of something, put this other side on top of the tabletop, and you can kind of save room on your tabletop by having just one burner up here. But it is a two burner stove. Um, fantastic build, quality, um, huge upgrade from the, the Coleman ones that I was using, a little more generic brands. But this one has two individual sparkers. Um, and let me turn it around. On the front, these dials are very, very sensitive. So you turn these things, I think that they turn four full revolutions to go from low fuel to max fuel. And the reason why that's good is because of um, simmering, uh, simmer control. So as opposed to the old ones where it would just turn a quarter revolution, 90 degrees, and that's all your control, this one turns seemingly forever. It just keeps on going. And that's how you get really, really good control of your heat. More importantly, it's all about the simmer. Very, very low flame on that. So one look at the modular sink and stove and you'll see it's just a plywood box. It's a five-sided plywood box, open front. And a very simple construction. It's uh, held together with screws and the plywood is three quarter inch. Going further down, it's a 10 liter jug. I've got three of them on board, so I've got 30 liters. And they go across over there by the speaker, down there. So then underneath, there's the fuel for the stove and dish soap. Sometimes keep this old plate on top of here. It's just a cover and it also is a good spot to see random junk. And here's six months ago how it used to look. All right, we're out in the middle of, uh, I don't know, kind of nowhere dead end of road right there and um, I decided I'm gonna do a small thing in the van but my job right now <clears throat> is to take my faucet and sink system it's just a box with uh, two jugs in it I've decided to cut it in half done so we'll see what I can make happen here kind of out oh, in the middle of nowhere but it's beautiful all right made this uh, faucet about a half 
width. More or less just cut the box in half and put the same little hose down into that hole instead of that old hole and jug. So it's a half width now and I'm happy with it. We'll try it out, see how it works. Nothing is actually glued yet, this little thing and stuff like that. I'm just gonna try it, see if it works good. And if I do like it, I'll glue it, screw it, and do all that stuff. But again, this is all temporary. I'm just trying things out until the new actual build. But this needed to be done in the meantime. So, here you go. that about wraps it up for this whole sink and stove assembly um, there's not much to it like I say it's just a five-sided plywood box with a large hole and a small hole cut out the top and a straw and a jug and I mean that's about it it doesn't get any more really easy to build than that if you can build a, a very simple box out of plywood then I think you can build this sink only uh, three or four things in it total so water propane fuel dish soap and the stove that's everything in it so I hope you enjoyed today's video of how this thing is built and what I use it for and I hope you learned something here today and uh, yeah see you on the next video